Hi, let's have a look at the utility function. That's a utility function. That's a typical utility function. You have here capital U on the vertical axis. So that stands for utility, right? And on the horizontal axis, you have X1. And X1 is just a good, let's say it's good one. Doesn't matter which good it is. And the utility function is a function of the quantity of good one and all other goods summarized in x2 are a constant. We just focus on x1 and the change of x1, the quantity change of x1, right? So let's start with zero here in the very beginning. And uh, if you increase the quantity of good one, let's say from zero to one, this is associated with a higher utility. So your utility is increasing and maybe you end up here. Let's say that's U1. And the idea of such a utility function is that it matters if you start from zero and have one additional quantity or unit of a good uh, or if you start with already let's say five units of that good and then uh, you increase your consumption from five to six so the change here is one the change is one the change in the quantity of consumed goods is the same, but it depends on the level where you start. And here you also have a uh, increase of one unit, but your utility increase, as you can see here, your utility increase is much smaller, right? Let's take a second color. So here you see the utility increase is delta u1, let's say it's u1, and here the utility increase is delta uh, u2, let's say it's u2. And uh, you see this increase is larger than this increase, or in other words, the marginal utility is decreasing in a standard uh, utility function and that's the, the core message right the core message message is that it depends on the level of goods you already consume whether uh, the additional quantity delta one the additional unit of a good uh, consumed uh, has a larger or a smaller utility increase that's that's the core idea